Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a new first impression and it is with Linda Holberg. Linda Holberg, never know how to say it, her new palette and this is the Spectral palette and oh my god, <laughs> I love Linda Holberg. Okay, I think I'm just going to decide, I'm going to say Linda Holberg in this video because now it's like that. So this is the new Linda Holberg palette. I have almost everything they have ever released. It's one thing that I don't have. I have the rest. So this is their new palette and this is their first colorful palette and I am so excited. I have been waiting a week for this. And the palette looks like this. I love the front of it. It is Linda on the palette. Um, this is more like plastic. It's very sturdy. But the other two palettes, the Infinity palettes, they are more like paper. And this has got like a plastic sheen over it. And it is... I don't know if it's sturdier or not. I think that people are like, oh, this feels so much more... Mm. I don't really know. I just feel it's because it's like plastic. So the palette looks like this and the back looks like this and I really like this and the palette looks like this. I think it looks freaking amazing. Maybe I'm a little biased. Yes I am. Um, it's got a mirror. I like their mirrors. I like mirrors in palette and I'm going to take off the plastic. And I think they are doing great mirrors. So it's eight shades and it is four shimmers and four mattes. The shimmers has some different text texture. It has been a long week, okay? Have some different texture textures. Uh, I really don't know which got one, but. So I think I'm going to swatch this and I have no freaking clue what I want to do. But it looks like this. So I'm going to swatch this for you and I will swatch this on my arm. Good swatching. If I need to be super concentrated. Okay, so these are the swatches and this silvery one, Illusion, it feels like it's glitter, like loose glitter, like chunky glitter, so it's a really chunky shade. But the other ones, they look amazing. When these four shimmers, like these two feels like a normal shimmer shade, this one feels more like a topper shade and this one like more like a glitter and can you please stop disturbing me the matte ones look amazing i really love this shade and this shade so i have no clue clue what i want to do so i will think about this and then i will be back and we start to play with this okay so i think i know what i want to do and i think i want to do something pretty I don't know if I'm going to say simple, but I think I know what I want to do. So I will start with this pink shade, Unknown, and take this in my crease. And I love Hinda Holberg's formula. It's on the other palettes, and I hope that this brush is somewhat clean. And I have no troubles with this at all. And I think it's so fun that they are coming out with something colorful like this. They have their crayons, yes. But it's always fun with a colorful eyeshadow palette. So something in the crease just like that. Just to have something in my crease. So like that. And I think the rest of the 
brushes I'm going to use for this is Linda Holberg. So next step I will take this occult, 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 occult. So okay, I'm taking this dark shade and I am going to do a halo eye. Because I love that and when I was watching this idea, it was popping out, popping out, it was coming into my head. And this is one thing I love about palettes that have mirrors, is that you can do your makeup with holding the palette. Because if you are at a hotel or something, it's usually not a good idea to do your makeup in the bathroom because it's usually like a yellow light thing. And then it looks a little bit off. Okay, so... Something like that. And I will actually try take this illusion with this brush and have enough but I think it's going to fall down okay I will try and see if it works the brush picks it up but I think it will not stick no it just sticks some like little tiny specks so I will I will grab some glitter glue for this. And take it here, my halo. And then we tap off the edges. And then I will go in with illusion. And really wish for like a bam of silver and L two and the yeah. Okay, so we just pack this on like that, and then I will go in with the other brush that I took to where well, I took <laughs> the darker shade. Take some of the darker shade and just go over the edges a little bit and also run through in the crease okay the only thing I don't like right now it's where the this shade it got stuck in the glare glue so it's like a darker rim so I'm going to do the other eye off cam I will fix my base and my brows and then I will be back and I will do something fun to my inner corner and maybe something boring to my lower lash. So I will be back with base, brows and the other eye. So for my under eyes I just think I will go in with this one. And I maybe don't want to take Linda Hall or maybe... Maybe I should try to take one of her brushes. This maybe will fuck the whole look up. I really hope not. So I tap it off so I don't get any fallouts. And I want to take this color the whole around my eye because I want to take this one this blue one and put in my inner corner just as a little like uh, inner corner highlight okay and then I'm gonna <laughs> take abstract to put over this in my inner corner and I will take the same brush I really want to tap off and 
put it in here. So I think something like that. And then I will take a pen in my wash line and I will of course take some from Linda Holberg. I think I will take the blue one. I think it's calmer mood. I will put on some mascara and a lippy and then I will be back with the finished result and with my first thought on this first impression of this palette. So I am back and the pen was cool mood. And for our lips I used their fancy stick in M Trine. M Trine, M Trine. <laughs> I don't know. So this is my finished look and I I like this one. I know I got silver on my eyes, gold in my nose and gold in my ears. I'm sorry, but I don't care. Um I like this look. I love the little pop in the inner corner with the blue. So what do I think of this palette? I love it. I love it so much. It's, it's so fun that they are doing something colorful. Not just their pens but an eyeshadow palette. And I think this has the same quality as the rest of the palettes. I didn't mention this in the beginning. This palette is somewhat expensive. It's almost like a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette here in Sweden and I think it's $59 I think I think it is worth the money but I love to support Linda Hallberg, Linda herself and also the brand I have been with them since the beginning so I love to support them and for me to have a Swedish brand a vegan brand and a cruelty free brand I am okay with spending some more money and I really like this palette it will be so fun to play with this and yeah I really really like it I love this little shade and I don't know what more to say than I love it I love it love it love it so it will be so fun to play more with this and do you want this palette have you bought it do you think you will I I just love it. So, yeah, this was my first impression. It feels like a long first impression. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to edit this now and then put it up as fast as again. Not as fast again. Tomorrow morning. Today when you see it. I really hope that I will manage that. So, yeah, this was my first impression with a spectral palette from Lynn Hallberg. So, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!